Hi guys, it's Sam, and I am going to be doing a first impressions video on the It Cosmetics Six Piece Collection Kit that I got from QVC. I am so excited to do this. I've been dying to try these products, uh, and I've been, uh, I've been wanting to try It Cosmetics ever since they came out, but I just never bit the bullet and I saw that they were doing a special back in November for this collection and there were so many things in there that I wanted to try. I thought that I would just do it uh, and I did and so this is going to be first impressions and um, let's get started. So I wanted to show you the things that you get in here. You get the mascara which is the only thing that I'm not, that I'm not going to use just because I have so many mascaras that I want to finish up before I try the superhero mascara which I'm very curious to see if it will hold my curl since I don't believe it's waterproof. Then you get the Je Ne Sais Quoi lip product, the Celebration Foundation in light, the Bye Bye Under Eye in medium, and then the brow, the universal brow powder, uh, brow power uh, in universal taupe. And the brush looks like this. I had said before that it looked futuristic or sci what I meant I said that it looked sci-fi but what I meant to say was it looks kind of futuristic looking uh, because it has this swirl it kind of looks like it got um, cut up in the factory wrong but it feels so soft so I'm excited to um, play with that some more and you also get as a sample you get the confidence in a cream and then I'm going to be using this in this video. Uh, they, I would have loved it if this collection came with a CC cream, but it didn't. But they do give you a sample in medium. This is the Your, Your Skin But Better CC Plus. So I'm going to first apply the Je Ne Sais Quoi lip product in Your Perfect Pink. Looks like this. And I've heard so much about this product, and it's supposed to give, um, like, change to your perfect pink, which is very appropriate that they named it that. So I'm just going to read through here. The, apply directly onto your lips for a youthful-looking pop of color. Wear alone or dry on dry lips or pair with other cosmetics lip products. And... My lips are pretty pigmented, so we'll see how much uh, this changes. Okay, so I did that, and I'm really liking the way that this feels. It feels so moisturizing. It's kind of like a um, on the Vaseline side. It's not oily or anything like that, but it feels really, really moisturizing So without being greasy. Okay, uh, next I am going to use the... The CC cream. So let me open a little bit of it because I think there's a lot in here. And this isn't the color medium, and I'm gonna use my hands just because I forgot to bring a beauty blender with me. And I'm totally in my PJs. It's really late at night. And I just wanted to play with my makeup. So I'm going to do one side first just to see the kind of coverage you get. And I don't think I got enough out. So let me get some more. Oh, I got too much out, I think, this time. Okay, I'm going to need my other hand because I got too much. So, um, I did half my face on this side and half. So it does a pretty good job of coverage. It's not, I wouldn't call it full coverage. It's definitely medium. And you could tell it did pretty well in covering up some of my dark circles, but not all of it. So let me do the other side and then we'll move on to the concealer. Okay, so I wanted to, I'm back with doing my, uh, my other side of my face and you can see my hyperpigmentation is still poking through but it did a decent job of coverage um like i said it's medium and it has a smell to it not bad it's kind of like fresh lemon light lemon scent um so that's part is done and then we are going to move on to the 
Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And you only need a little bit. So, um, it's a bit tacky, but it, look at the coverage on my fingers anyway. Um, I am going to put that on under one eye first. And blend that. Oh, I just did my nails with uh, my uh, UV slash LED lamp, which I'm so excited about. I just, I'm in love. I've, I have used my sister's before, so it's, I'm not a stranger to it, but it is amazing. I never have to go to a nail salon again. Um, I've gotten a little bit better doing it. Um, it just takes a little practice. So I definitely see a difference, and I... It feels really nice, not tacky, and um, hopefully I blended that out right um, or well enough. Uh, but you could definitely see the color. It doesn't do anything for the bags, but definitely the color is really, it did a great job covering. And I'm going to take some and put some on my chin because it's extra red and I have been breaking out on my chin. I think a lot of it has to do with that I'm sick, which I still am a little bit. I, I'll be better for work. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some on the areas that I have hyperpigmentation. It's doing a really good job of covering up, which is nice. And I'll take the rest and put it under my eye. Okay, and then really happy with this and the, oh, I'm going to cough. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I was saying before I started coughing um, was I really like this. I feel like this is better coverage, which I guess it makes sense than the CC cream, but I'm kind of glad I got, got to try it because I would, I'm going to try this some more. I'll save, you know what, I'll save all of this for the end. Okay, let's move on to the powder. And this is the Celebration Foundation Illumination. And so you get the powder, which is up here, which I had, had no trouble opening this. I don't know why. Okay, so you get the powder here. And again, this is in light. And let me show you just a swatch of that. So decent coverage on my finger. And then here's the brush, which is so, so soft. Um, I think actually good for contouring so um it probably be good for powder so um let me put some in here it's a strange shape brush um let me see what it says here how to okay Gently buff Celebration Foundation Illumination onto your face using circular motions to extend the life of your brush and ensure oh okay I'm just trying to tell you about their brush love. So it says to swirl it. So let's me do this side of the face. Okay, let me pick up some more powder. And it does get, you might not notice in the, you might not be able to see on camera, but it does pick up a lot. Um, there's a lot of fallout. So, can you tell the difference between this side and this side? Um, I don't, but let me try this side because I have a little bit more issues on this. This brush, by the way, is so soft. So soft. Okay, you might not be able to notice, but I definitely see that this covered up so many of my problems on this side which is a big deal for me and uh, the powder just feels really soft I think it's the brush actually um, but I can totally see a difference with this powder so I'm very happy about that next is the the brow product which is called brow power and it's, it's a universal taupe it does come with a spoolie 
So I'm going to brush out my brows. And my brows don't need a lot of uh, filling in and working on and shaping and things like that. Or at least I don't think so. But here is the product. And it's kind of like a squish, I would say. Squish. Oh, I didn't realize you could see. I have my... I'm watching like a food thing on my computer. But it's on mute. Um, but it's flattened, so that's nice. Um, it's easier to work through your brows. So I'm just going to do this side on camera, and then I'll do the other one off. Just so you can see the color. Now, this might sound strange, but I have tried a black brow pencil, and that looks so weird. It was, like, too stark for, for me. Um, so this looks like it's working out. I don't feel like it's anything more different than the brow products, um, but maybe it wears better. And actually, I don't want to say that because some brow products are really emollient. Emollient? That's not the right way to say it. Emollient. And um, so this brow, this brow product is not though. So I have a feeling it'll stay. So um, let me do the other one, and I'll be back. Okay, I take back what I said. I This was so super fast and easy to use. I'm really loving it. Uh, next is, I think that's it. I just want to add a little bit of blush just because I always do. I don't have a It Cosmetics brush. Um, I really want to try more of their products now. Um, yes, this is going to be a positive first impressions video because I am really liking everything that... I've tried. Okay. So, to go over everything, I first the lip product. This is the Genesee Qua lip product and I did not show you, but this magnetizes. I absolutely love the way that it looks and I like I said my at the beginning my lips are pretty pigmented, but I feel like my lips look so moisturized and luscious and they feel really really good. So, this is definitely a winner. Uh, next was the CC cream, which I, you know, I have to try it some more. But first impressions wise, I'm not liking the coverage. It seems like it's more light to medium, uh, more on the medium side. Um, it feel it felt really nice, but I just wasn't loving the coverage of that. I did love the coverage of the next product though. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye and it's in medium and I felt like it was the right color um, for under my eyes and all over my face. So that's really nice and I felt like it covered up my under eyes and the um, my active pimples that are kind of red and just uh, the hyperpigmentation on this side. Uh, next product is the Celebration Foundation which I really really like. I think I could possibly wear this out without um, anything because I felt like it did a really great job covering up my hyperpigmentation whereas um, the the uh, the the CC cream did not so I am really impressed with this product so hopefully it will work out that I can wear it just by itself on those days that I'm in a rush or I want some coverage um, and then the brush this brush is very interesting I like it but it's kind of hard to use so I'm gonna work on that next is the brow power which I I'm I'm really liking it it lasts for it says 24 months which is wow uh, it's easy to work with the color is I think a good match and uh, it has a spoolie attached to it so that was really fun i am really happy that i got this kit like i said they're still selling it at qvc just not for that great price that i got it for got it for but i'm really really happy with it cosmetics and i definitely want to get more of their things in the future so please let me know what your favorites are from it cosmetics um uh, i i there are some things that i really would like to try uh, like the cleansing balm and their bronzer and their blushes and maybe their lip products because this feels amazing this lip product um, so let me just get a little bit closer so you guys could see I mean I 
I'm really liking. This is every almost everything is here that I could just use on its own. Like if I didn't have the CC cream, I would have just uh, used a concealer and a powder anyway. The only thing that I would need to add is the blush and and mascara. But the mascara was included in here. I just didn't want to open up a new one. So I am really happy. This is a great go-to. Um, if I'm in a rush, if I'm not in a rush, I feel like I have a pretty, um, I don't know, I feel like this, um, I could go out like this and it would be fine. So that's awesome. I am very impressed with it cosmetics. I'm definitely going to be getting more of their stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, this first impressions video, uh, with, that I did, right? Yeah, I've been doing this the entire time. I hope you enjoy this type of video and that you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.